In a July open hearing of this committee following publication of the Mueller report, the Democrats engaged in a last-ditch effort to convince the American people that President Trump is a Russian agent. That hearing was the pitiful finale of a three-year-long operation by the Democrats, the corrupt media, and partisan bureaucrats to overturn the results of the 2016 election. After the spectacular implosion of their Russia hoax on July 24th, in which they spent years denouncing any Republican who ever shook hands with a Russian, on July 25th, they turned on a dime and now claim the real malfeasance is Republicans' dealings with Ukraine. In the blink of an eye, we're asked to simply forget about Democrats on this committee, falsely claiming they had more than circumstantial evidence of collusion between President Trump and Russians. And yet now, here we are. We're supposed to take these people at face value when they trot out a new batch of allegations. But anyone familiar with the Democrats' scorched earth war against President Trump would not be surprised to see all the typical signs that this is a carefully orchestrated media smear campaign. The Democrats rejected most of the Republicans' witnesses, witness requests, resulting in a horrifically one-sided process where the crucial witnesses are denied a platform if their testimony does not support the Democrats' absurd accusations. Notably, they are trying to impeach the president for inquiring about Hunter Biden's activities. Yet they refuse our request to hear from Biden himself. The whistleblower was acknowledged to have a bias against President Trump, and his attorney touted a coup against the president and called for his impeachment just weeks after the election. By undermining the president, who they are supposed to be serving, the elements of the FBI, the Department of Justice, and now the State Department, have lost the confidence of millions of Americans who believe that their vote should count for something. It will take years, if not decades, to restore faith in these institutions. This spectacle is doing great damage to our country. It's nothing more than an impeachment process in search of a crime that I yield back.